name is Maria Machado. I am first and foremost a mother of triplets. They're 23 years old. I am a real estate broker. My name is Carlos Machado. Um, I'm, a, uh, I'm an attorney by trade. A uh, proud father of three uh, wonderful children, triplets, that were born preemie, 27 and a half weeks. One boy and two girls. On our spare time is really go to the beach or on the boat, and we love to travel. And, and these kids have traveled a lot with us, so, yeah. yeah. When I found out I was having triplets, that was a very eventful day. We were at the doctor's office, and I had a nervous laughter attack which has never happened to me before. Like, it's not something funny. And he went to faint and they had to give him yeah, smelling, smelling sauce. sauce. Yeah. yeah, so they left me and tended to him. Finding out that I was gonna be the dad of triplets was shocking to the start. Then you go through a stage that's very, very scary, um, which is, you know, you realize that the risk associated with that, with the pregnancy and the risk associated with the kids. But the more time that passed, the more we got used to the idea. And then it just became a matter of waiting you know, and making sure that they stayed in there as long as possible. And then around week 27, to be exact, 27 and 3 sevenths, um, Sophia, which was my baby A at the time, she decided it was time to come out. She was in distress. The rest was history. We went to the hospital and she broke her water and at that point they all three needed to come out. My name is Sophia. My name's Carlos. My name's Annie. But they call me Carly. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> we're 23 years old. We were born at South Miami Hospital in June 1999. I'm the oldest by a minute. He and I technically were born the same minute. They have to label you when you're born, so I'm labeled baby C. So then at birth, Sophia was my baby A. She was one pound, six ounces. Carlos Jr. was baby B, and he was two pounds, eight ounces. And Anne Marie was baby C, and she was two pounds. So they take me to this place called the NICU. He came to me and he said, there's this nurse and she's like an angel. Carly and Annie were in the NICU two months and, and Sophia stayed two and a half months. They were very, very challenging weeks of our life, but they were in the best place, getting the best care. And we're blessed. We were very blessed. I think being a triplet is, um has its advantages and disadvantages. I think um, I a lot of it is kind of, there's always somebody around, but that's also kind of a drawback too, because a lot of conflicting personalities. It is nice having a, a companion though. I mean, yeah, on the one side you're never bored, on the other hand, you share everything. But I like being a trip, and I think it's- I, think I it's, like it too. I think it's fun. The one thing that I, I would say growing up is that, uh, Everybody that met us was always kind of like, oh, the Machado trio or the Machado yeah. this. I think, like, now, I think like a now. sense of identity. You really have to stand out because But I think that's everything. why we do such different things like in life, academically, professionally, personally, because you always have to differentiate yourself from the other two because if not, you're going to be the trio. I'm a NICU nurse at South Miami Hospital. I'm currently studying for the LSAT to go to law school in the fall. I'm currently a second year law student at UM and I teach yoga and Pilates on the side. I think Sophia being an NICU nurse is amazing. Um, and I think it does fit her very well. I mean, I think, uh, I think she was made to, to do that job. But um, no, I'm so, so proud of her. I felt like she was coming full circle in her life and that was just so special. She was gonna be such a source of inspiration. For those parents, like, oh wow, look, my kids can get there too. I think she decided when we were around in high school, she yeah. was talking about that. Um, and, you know, storyline makes sense, um, uh, you know, we we're preemie, it's, it's a nice thing, right? But she's a very nurturing person, she's a very motherly person, it, it, to me it makes sense. I think there's something to be said about your feeling of purpose when you know that you're coming full circle, like even a personality aside, like knowing that she was in their shoes probably gave her a bigger purpose to that job than just like the regular, I want to help babies. My personal experience being a 27 weeker in the NICU 23 years ago um, definitely has an impact on how I work. Um, seeing the little tiny babies, I. I just relate to them. I think that knowing that's how I started helps me meet, be like really like in the moment and compassionate. And I 
like the idea of being able to give back to the syndicate that took care of me. I sometimes work in the same room that I know that I was in. So I just feel very, I just feel like it's home for any parents watching this video. I think that it's really important to stay hopeful and stay strong for your baby. You're gonna have setbacks and you're gonna have leaps forward. At the end of the day, the baby really needs your support so that they can excel and they can ho hopefully have a wonderful life and go home with you in the end. Number one is to remember that you're a couple first. Um, you know, we had some tough times and I remember him saying to me, we were fine before this and we'll be fine after this. One day you'll look back and be, and be grateful that your child was so strong and that you were so strong for them and it'll just be a memory.